Several local bands have joined together to bring up an alternative music scene in Eastern Kentucky, and they'll be hosting a free concert on July 20th. Doors open at 3.30 at the bridge located next to the Prestonsburg Church of God, and everyone is encouraged to check out the show. Mountaintop News spoke with one of the artists in the lineup to hear more about what to expect. We have a free event going on on July 20th. Um, it's going to be down here at the bridge. We really just are trying to get the alternative community to come together and really have a representation in the overall music genre and the music entertainment here in Eastern Kentucky. If you really want to come out and enjoy something different for a change, this is a completely free concert. Um, we are probably going to continue to throw free concerts in the near future as well. So I would just really love to have everybody down here. We're going to have vendors, we're going to have food vendors, art vendors. Uh, it's just going to be a great time. Appalachian Wireless loves the holidays, so it's Christmas in July. Check out this Christmas in July deal. One penny for an iPhone 13 on a two-year contract with a mix and match or Appalachian Unlimited plan. Merry Christmas in July. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Considering alternative music isn't as popular in Eastern Kentucky as other genres, many may have misconceptions about its message. Alternative musicians and fans alike want to celebrate positivity and individuality. A lot of people think that it's rooted in, you know, some type of anger or evil and they forget that at least for a lot of musicians that I know and me myself personally we all go based off of emotion so you know country has happiness sadness same thing as rock same thing as pop rap any kind of music genre you look at that's no different with alternative music I feel like just because sometimes where it sounds a little different people will automatically get a stereotype when they look at the look and the style of it versus hearing the lyrical content because a lot of the times even our band, we have heavy breakdowns. We play in very drop tunings, and but when you look at our lyrical content, it's it's a lot of uplifting things, you know, struggles that we've all been through that we wanted to take and encompass in our songs and our sound. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.